Downtown Birmingham is going to look very different when the I-2059 bridge is built and transportation engineers, they want to know what you think it should look like. Yeah, we're talking about the space underneath that bridge. And as WVTM 13's Dan Odell tells us, hundreds are already making their voices heard. Sandy Sidwell and her two-year-old son Mason love to skate together. Our family skates and we want a safe place to skate. So I think it's time. Birmingham needs a skate park. Sidwell is one of about 4,000 people who signed a petition calling for a skate park to be part of the downtown design. There's a big group of us, a big community, and it ranges from like all classes, all races, all ages. The Department of Transportation rolling out a number of concepts and design ideas at this public meeting, giving people a chance to vote for what they want and even space to write down their own ideas. Hopefully those can kind of stimulate a conversation and a response from folks about, you know, hey, that's a cool idea. I'd like to see that happen. And it's a large space, 10 city blocks, stretching from 15th all the way down to 25th streets, 31 acres in all. The new space will be more open, interstate ramps will be gone, and the support beams will be spaced much farther apart. This is too unique of a project for the city of Birmingham and the state of Alabama for us to do this behind closed doors that the whole reason we're here is we want to hear the ideas from the community. Designers hope to have a master plan proposal late this fall. Construction should begin late next year to be complete before the World Games in 2021. In Birmingham, Dan Odell, WBTM 13. So there's still time to make your voice heard. The public input meeting lasts until 7 o'clock tonight at Boutwell Auditorium. There's another series of meetings next Tuesday. Now those meetings will be at the Crossplex.